I just spotted an amazing giveaway uh, poker face fail by Jen Saki in the press conference. And I'm trying to get this piecing it together 12 out as quick as possible because I don't think anyone else will actually point this out, but just in case. Either way, wait till you see this expose here, this brief little expose dealing with Saki and the Logan Act in Biden. And what does this infer? I want you all to think about what this means because there's something hidden here. And is he still the president? Is the military in control? Is the thing called devolution taking place? What is going on? Or is it Biden really in control? Which doesn't seem like it because Pelosi can't allow the military to do it. She has no control over the military to go into Ukraine. But I want you to take note of this because right now Pence is in Ukraine and Pompeo is in Taiwan. And when Kerry did this with Iran and other nations, it was bad. Here we go. And one more. Um, former Vice President Mike Pence was at the Ukrainian border today. Did the administration know he was going, and was there any kind of State Department support for him or any kind of official support? I'm certainly happy to check. April, why don't you do the last one? The quickest answer she's ever given. And, oh, she's going to check for us to find out why. Oh, she doesn't have an answer to that one. I wonder why. What are they trying to hide? Perhaps the fact that they're an entire charade and none of them have any power and they know it. But the media is covering this truth, this reality. The Logan Act, law that criminalizes negotiation by unauthorized American citizens with foreign governments having a dispute with the United States. So Pence um, was a, is a citizen now since he's not in government and he's in Ukraine, right on the border. Um, Taiwan is now honoring Pompeo, and he's a former um, employee of the government, according to uh, whatever, so that would make him a citizen, and no one's kicking up the fuss. These guys have targeted every one of these people in the Trump administration for how long? For, for what, walking a cat down the, the, the not cleaning up over after their cat's litter, and everything beyond that? They've tried to get them for treason in so many different ways and criminal, federal crimes. Haven't been able to find one, pinpoint one on them. This one right in our faces, which supposedly would be a giant Logan Act and not one of the corrupt media is talking about it. Pelosi can't send military because she doesn't have control of them. That's why they can do everything they can to get the dummies of the world to donate. Whoever will, Poland, all these countries that are like, oh yeah, I'll give you something to the news. Then they're like, nah, we don't side with you. America is about to get the charade sliced out of reality. Every other country in the world seems to know the truth that the citizens of this country can't grasp. Even back in 2018 when Kerry was doing this, the Boston Globe even commented on it violating the Logan Act was all over the place because he was in violation of it. He was no longer in charge, no longer had any role. He was a citizen and he was talking to Iran and making deals, undermining the government. So check out this devolution theory because it does make sense, although I don't know um, if, if it's real or not. You know, I'm, I, we're waiting a little too long. I hope we don't have to wait too much longer for people to, to get it. If the military is in control, it's about time be honest, I think they should have taken control of the voting and then we wouldn't have been in this. But if, uh, if everyone has to go down this path in order to get it, I hope we are at the end of the path because this world needs to turn around. Something needs to happen. And this last night got, got spent on so much money occupying and doing whatever, protecting other borders, but not ours. Sick. These people are sick. Watch this. Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world. America's enemies are on the run. Our economy created over 6.5 million new jobs just last year. And very incredibly, the average unemployment rate under my administration is lower than any administration in the history of our country. But that trickle-down theory led to a weaker economic growth, lower wages, bigger deficits, and a widening gap between the top and everyone else in, in, in nearly a century. Since my election, the net worth of the bottom half of wage earners has increased by 47%, three times faster than the increase for the top 1%. Invest in America. Educate Americans. Grow the workforce. Our agenda is relentlessly pro-worker, pro-family, pro-growth, and most of all, pro-American. We will start fixing over 65,000 miles of highway and 1,500 bridges in disrepair. I ask you to pass over to John Barrasso's highway bill to invest in new roads, bridges, and tunnels all across our land. To compete for the jobs of the future, we also need a living playing field with China. Days ago, we signed a groundbreaking new agreement with China that will defend our workers, protect our intellectual property. Companies are choosing to build new factories here 
Well, just a few years ago, they would have gone overseas. America has now gained 12,000 new factories under my administration. Ford is investing $11 billion in electric vehicles, creating 11,000 jobs across the country. The U.S. MCA will create nearly 100,000 new high-paying American auto jobs. Cut the cost of prescription drugs. For the first time in 51 years, the cost of prescription drugs actually went down. Let's cut energy costs for families. America is now energy independent, and energy jobs, like so many other elements of our country, are at a record high. Let's pass the Paycheck Fairness Act and pay leave. Extending family leave to mothers and fathers all across our nation. And extend the child tax credit so no one has to raise a family in poverty. 40 million American families have an average $2,200 extra thanks to our child tax credit. Let's increase Pell Grants, increase our historic support for HBCUs. I'm also proud that we achieve record and permanent funding for our nation's historically black colleges and universities. We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police, it's to fund the police. The second chance at life is made possible because we passed landmark criminal justice reform into law. African American poverty has declined to the lowest rate ever recorded. We need to secure our border and fix the immigration system. Our borders are secure. We don't legitimately hear it can be sent back. My administration has ended catch and release. As a result of our unprecedented efforts, illegal crossings are down 75% since May. We've set up joint patrols in Mexico and Guatemala to catch more human traffickers. And I have signed nine pieces of legislation to stamp out the menace of human trafficking domestically and all around the globe. Preserve a woman's right to choose. And continue to advance maternal health care. That is why I'm also calling upon members of Congress here tonight to pass legislation finally banning the late-term abortion of babies. Beat the opioid epidemic. Drug overdose deaths declined for the first time in nearly 30 years. To support our veterans. The veterans' unemployment rate dropped to a record low. Quite right, affordable. High-speed internet for every American. That every citizen can have access to high-speed internet. So not only did Biden completely flat-out plagiarize almost everything, even the order of the speech. Him and his guys must have sat down there like a, like a high school, middle school kid plagiarizing something from the internet. It's pathetic. Not only that, though. It's the reactions behind it. Remember uh, Pelosi rubbing her hands together for bodies burning and toxic waste and all the things that they responded to Biden and with full bone applause, standing ovations all the time. And those were the same exact things that they stole from Trump when they were all sitting there, pouty faced, walking out, AOC's crying, she's wearing all white and a vagina hat, and all these other people are like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Meanwhile, Trump's bringing in patriots, he's bringing in normal people that aren't just like tokens and aren't like basically people that the Biden administration destroyed. He brought in there as victims and it, it was pathetic. No message, no power at all. And when it came out of Trump's mouth and was actually all getting getting done, Pelosi ripped it up. But when it comes from Biden's mouth and it's all pure lie, Pelosi rubs her hands together with a demonic gaze. The main thing is that truth, it needs to dump the media full blown. We need to dump all of the media. We need to dump every politician. All of these people are frauds. Every single one of them that's going along with this, everyone in that room is a fraud. They've been sold out to whoever, to the highest bidder, and they're doing nothing with the people in mind. And this has to change. And if the military, if you're out there, dear God, do something. Because people are losing hope. People are losing their lives. People are getting hurt every day. This enough is enough. This is not a joke anymore. Truth needs to win. And we need some power behind that. And these people need to be brought to justice. It's the only way. Bless you all.